Hello and welcome to the Tarot Cottage. I am Amy. I'm back again today with a pick a card reading for you. If you are a returning subscriber, thank you for your friendship. Thank you for being a part of my community. Thank you for being here with me. I really appreciate you and everything that you bring to this channel. I appreciate the shares, the follows, the beautiful comments you leave in the comment section and your support of each other. It really warms my heart and it was the whole purpose of this channel in the first place, so thank you. And if you're finding yourself for the very first time here on our channel, we want to welcome you with open arms. Be a part of our community. Subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification bell. I do daily pick-a-card readings. I give away free readings at times. So we'd love to have you be a part of this community. So grab a cup of tea, pull up a chair, get some snacks, because we're all friends at my table and we're going to have a bit of a chat. So today's pick-a-card reading um, is another no-contact reading today. And we're looking at the question, what's going on with your person? Will they reach out to me? We have three piles in front of you. We have the rhino spirit. It says overcome any obstacle. We have the little blue flower. We have the bee spirit for pile two with the brown eyed Susie. It says sweet results overall. And we have the beaver spirit here with the red flower for pile number three. If you already know which pile or piles are calling out to you, my timestamps are listed below. Um, if you're new to pick a card readings and you don't know which pile is calling out, just know that multiple piles can call out to you. Sometimes you're drawn to the image on the on the card. Sometimes you're drawn to the flower. It's whatever is calling out to your spirit. Don't overthink it. Just sink into your body. Take a couple of mindful deep breaths and choose whichever pile is calling out to you um, first when you open your eyes. What's popping <laughs> in your eyes? Um, I'm going to go ahead and jump right into pile number one with the rhino spirit. Again, we're looking at what's going on with your person that's on your mind. Why is there no contact? Will they come forward? Will they reach out to you? Pile number one. Hello, pile number one. You were drawn to the rhino or maybe to this beautiful little flower. But either way, this is your reading. We're looking at what's going on with this person of yours. Um, will they reach out to you? Um, what's happening in this connection right now? The rhino spirit says overcome any obstacle. And it's really about charging through. If you, Whenever I think of a rhino, I honestly think of water boy. <laughs> And I think of Kathy Bates just charging forward, you know, plowing through anybody that's in the way or, or intimidating her child or just any obstacle in your way. Um, Spirit is telling you you can overcome it. You can overcome this obstacle. This connection can overcome this obstacle, this bump in the road. But we will see what your tarot has to say. Beautiful angel tarot for you today by Doreen Virtue. So we're going to ask the question... <laughs> What is going on with your person right now? How are they currently feeling about you? And we're going to look at, are they going to reach out? So what is happening? What are their current feelings regarding this connection? We have go within. Number two, we have the high priestess. You are a very intuitive person. <clears throat> it says you have many wonderful insights waiting inside of you. It's time to be quiet and reflect upon the desires of your heart through meditation or prayer. So this is an interesting card. The high priestess is all about secrets. So we'll see what other cards come out for you today. What is going on with your person? Guardian of action. So we have the king of wands here. How do they currently feel in this connection? We have the three of wands, three of action. Things are working out beautifully, it says. Now your ship has come in. It's time to decide what your next big project will be. To clarify that high priestess, we have the ace of emotion, the ace of cups. So how are they currently thinking, feeling about you in this connection? The two of thought, the two of swords. Inner strength. <clears throat> so we have justice here. And we have the four of thought on the back of the deck, the four of swords. So how is this person currently feeling about you and this connection? 
what is going on with them. So if we're over here with the Four of Swords, it says spend time in nature listening for guidance from your angels and your own inner voice because overanalyzing the situation won't provide the answers you're seeking. Consider taking a vacation or a small break to help you rejuvenate and become clear on what your next step should be. Meditation is very helpful. So I feel like your person is really um, overthinking this whole situation. Maybe they're staying away because they have a lot of passion towards you, um, but they're just, they're indecisive right now and they've kind of sunk into themselves. They've stepped away from the situation um, to gain some clarity on their feelings. Um, because they have been hiding these feelings for you and they do have a lot of passion towards you with that that king of wands and that three of wands with the high priestess shows me that they're hiding these feelings. They've been sitting on these emotions maybe for a while. They've wanted to offer you a brand new emotional start here with the ace of cups. It says ace of emotion. This cherub is announcing that a wonderful new emotional experience is coming into your life. It says you will meet someone new who makes your heart flutter or your current relationship will experience a reawakening, which is truly what I think this person wants. They're hiding those feelings. They want an awakening, um, but they're kind of stuck in place. We have the two of swords here. It says two of thought. Your angels have noticed that you're not moving forward. You have multiple options and you're reviewing them and you seem unable to choose because truly I feel like with this justice card, I'm going to get some clarity on the justice card here, but I feel like with that justice card, it's like this sense of, um, needing to do the right thing in their current situation, but we're going to take a look at those energies right now and see what clarifiers come out for you. I'm going to use this little deck, but now I feel called to, so I'm going to do so. But overall, your person is deep in thought right now, trying to make that decision um, to come forward. So you get the Queen of Swords, clarifying that Justice card, and the Page of Swords. So yeah, they're trying. They want to be truthful. They want to be a leader um, in this connection. Um, the Queen of Swords values truth very strongly. So does the Page of Swords. They come rushing in with the truth. I feel like this person is watching your social media right now, even if there's no contact. Um, and it's like this sense of duty that they have. Like they they feel like it is their responsibility to kind of stay away right now. <laughs> Before, until they're very clear about their emotions. Let's switch gears a little bit here and ask the question, are they coming back? Will they reach out to you? What is their next move towards this connection? There go the cards. Will this person reach out to you? We have the Son of Cups or the Knight of Cups, a very good sign. The Page of Cups, <laughs> lots of swan imagery here. And we have the Nine of Wands. We have the Strength card. I do feel like this person wants to reach out. Um, I feel like they almost feel like they're on. I feel like they're almost done with this whole process of, of, retreat and reflection. I feel like they're ready to kind of take those masks off of the two of swords here because that daughter of cups, that page of cups is all about an emotional new beginning. We have the ace of cups. We have the beautiful page of cups. We have the son of cups movement cards um, that speak about a love offer coming in that that knight of cups comes charging, galloping in with a love offer. It is usually over the top. It is emotional. It is um, he's filled with compassion and he's just kind of he ushers in some beautiful, beautiful, loving energy. He doesn't always have a necessary concrete plan of what's going to happen after the fact, but he's got good intentions. And we have the nine of wands here, which show that they've been feeling this way for you for a really long time. And they're starting to grow impatient. It's starting to wear on them a little bit emotionally, like they're feeling a little bit standoffish, maybe a little bit um, guarded when it comes to this connection, which is why they've needed to gain this clarity and step away because it's hard to see Sometimes it's hard to see the forest through the trees, even if the forest is right in front of us. If we step back, we can see a clearer picture. And I feel like that's what they're doing. They've kind of, you know, it could be a Leo that we're dealing with here with the beautiful strength card. There's a rose in his mouth with the infinity symbol. This could be a soulmate connection. Um, and they really want to offer up that new star. A white rose is a symbol of purity, of new hope, new beginnings. Um, 
And I feel like they're taming those fears inside of them to come forward because they have so much passion that they want to express and it's boiling over the surface. They want to explore this connection and charge through these obstacles. Um, it's frustrating probably to hear that considering they're probably not contacting you right now, but that's the, the sense that I'm getting from your person. Playfulness. So maybe there was a lot of flirting. It says to recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit to shine. Maybe that's really why this person needed some clarity. Maybe there was a lot of back and forth kind of flirting. It never went farther than that. And it grew frustrating for this person. So they had to step back. Perhaps you were separated because of the pandemic. Make the effort. Great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. We have two children on this card, and I always think about the Six of Cups when I see this card, just because of the children imagery, the beautiful, um, loving embrace that they're in. So you may have known this person from the time you were younger. Deception. <clears throat> Sorry, guys. Someone is wearing a false mask in this relationship, and we had the Two of Swords there, that person wears a mask when they're trying to make a decision they can't see clearly. This person's not showing their true feelings. We have the high priestess there. They're hiding that true thought inside of them, their true emotions. But this is true love. This is the romance of a lifetime if you allow it to be. And there's lots of passion, as I keep saying. Passion on the back of the deck. Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. Emotions are running high, super moon. So you're growing impatient. <laughs> this person maybe is taking too long in that four of swords energy retreating. <clears throat> but don't let your past hold you back. Don't let the past of this connection, even if you met them um, and you were friends with them and you're worried about moving it into a new connection and losing the quote unquote friendship, don't be scared. Don't, don't let anything hold you back. Relationships are about evolution. It says nothing will come of this of this situation void of course moon and that's really be about choice that card shows up for me when spirit is really calling you for action calling this person for action we have a choice whether we charge through situations or obstacles or not we have a choice of whether or not we tame those inner fears inside of us and reach out and take those masks off and so that's a call from spirit for your person to really make that choice to spend that time in retreat um to spend that time wisely because we truly are the driving forces in our own life. We have work through your fears and we have the strength card right there. Your hard work will pay off is on the back of the deck. It says, oh, we have two. First one here is girl with a snake, empath and narcissist paradigm being charmed or used enabled or boundaries so some of you out there may maybe you were dealing with a narcissist um maybe that's why the clarity was needed for some of you out there always take what resonates in my readings and leave what does not um but maybe the person retreated because of the way they were being treated wedding rings union wedding married soul connection eternal love everlasting promise for some of you, maybe you are connected to this person through marriage, or maybe that's just a desire. The snake, competition, enemy, clever, malicious, looking over your shoulder, the other woman. Was there a third party influence that affected this disconnect for some of you? Oh, we have two again. Keys on a ring. Many options, decisions, unconventional, string along, one night stand. Ooh. And then we have the Grim Reaper. It says the relationship is over. No second chances. Grow and transform your life. And it really has, again, has to do with that. Nothing will come of this situation card. It's about speaking to your fears about nothing happening here. This person wants to come forward. And they're really kind of fighting that desire to kind of fighting that fear inside of them that they're going to be rejected or that they'll have nowhere to put all of this passion. Um, so they're kind of going through it right now. They're kind of playing on their own fears. We have the king of passion here, but we also have the two of swords, which shows them having kind of a struggle between the passion they feel for you and this logical thought process that they feel they need to go through. On the back of the deck, we have 
Cupid's arrow. Have faith. Love is coming. Surprise. Invitation or meeting. So love is coming. That, that invitation is being presented, but it's up to you to make that decision. You can decide if this relationship is over. You can come if, decide if nothing is going to come under this situation, but you need to work through those fears and speak your truth regardless. Whoops. Whoops, we have the moose card coming up for you today. Let your head and mind reach to the stars, yet keep your feet grounded on the earth. Listen to the ancient wisdom in your soul. The ancestors speak through you. You know much. And really that's what this whole, the back of the deck energy was, that four of thought, the four of swords. It is about having, being wise before moving forward. And I feel like that's what your person wanted to do. They didn't want to make their offer based on it on passion and they didn't want to make you know they wanted to make it based on love and something mutual not just something kind of i can't think of the word i want to use but something superficial we have the orca whale as well dare to do things differently sing your wild song manifest your travel dreams attempt the great journey with confidence be loyal friends and family are your treasures be brave you are more powerful than you know And what are some of the secret thoughts of this person? What do they want to confess to you? Sorry about the wobble, you guys. I'm waiting on a new stand that hopefully won't wobble as much. No one knows I still think about you. I'm wearing those masks. I've got that Two of Swords mask on. I've got the secrets that the High Priestess holds. But I am trying to become a better person. And there is a sense here with that. When we started out with that... Um, that justice card with the queen of swords and the page of swords. It is the sense of responsibility that this person has. It's always been you. I'm forever yours as well. So they're definitely feeling that connection, feeling that passion towards you. You are consuming my thoughts at this time, even though they're not in contact with you. And they want you to know that they're a different person than you remember them being. They've grown up. Things have changed. I'm afraid that I'm too late. But we need to talk. You know, some things just need to be said. I hide my feelings for you from everyone. Even if nothing ever comes out of the situation, some conversations just need to happen. We complement each other. And they also want to know, is it too late for me to apologize for the things that I did in the past in this connection? Because I need you to take the lead here. There's a lot of you know, kind of back and forth, push and pull here in this connection. There's a lot of that sort of fear of being swirled around. We have two here. We have, even though we never said it, we both knew. And in a perfect world, you would be mine. I just have the Jan Arden song, Could I Be Your Girl, whirling through my head. So if you don't know who Jan Arden is, you should look that song up. She's a wonderful Canadian singer songwriter and that's a great song it's called could i be your girl and it's swirling through my head right now for whatever reason so check that song out okay we have three popping out and we have the two of swords coming with it so we're going to talk about that so we have the nine of wands we have the two of swords those cards came out for you and the eight of swords so they're feeling stuck right now <laughs> They're feeling emotionally trapped. Um, and then, you know, we've talked about that nine of wands. We've talked about how they're feeling a little bit defensive. You can see by the person's, even their face in this card. I don't know if you guys can truly see, but they're kind of defensive. They've been holding these pas this passion for you for so long. They don't want to put it down. They have nowhere to put it. Um, and it's like that sense that they don't want someone swooping in and, and picking up where they left off or anything. It's like, I'm right near the end of this finish line. I want to get there, but they're in that decision. Do they reveal themselves finally, or do they keep it a secret? Do they come forward or do they not? That two of swords urges them to take that, that mask off to quench the fear that the moon, you know, sort of that intuition in the moon to, 
to kind of garner all of the power of the in intuition in the moon, but let go of all the fear that it represents because they truly are trapping themselves in, a, in an entrapment with that eight of swords. It's a mental entra entrapment, but if they took the mask off, they would look around and realize they could just walk away from those swords, that they're not actually being held in place. We have U, we have R, and we have K. We have the clock, and they're worried about timing being an issue here. Maybe this is a no-contact situation that has spanned a while. We have the guitar. We have the starfish. We have Virgo represented in the bowl today. We have the pizza. Um, we also have a stone that makes me think of the, the Queen of Swords, and I believe you had the Queen of Swords here. You do. You know, an urge to look at things logically, a call for truth. Um, we have the flat shell, which makes me think of the empress, so motherhood, um, nurturing, compassion. These could be qualities you have or your person has. It's about putting you on that pedestal. Uh, the starfish, the ability to heal yourself or to quench any of those fears inside of yourself. It says, I will hold you in my heart until I hold you in heaven. And it says, I choose strength. And you had the strength card coming off. And I, as I said, this, we're asking the question, is this person coming back? Are they going to return? They are coming with that Knight of Cups and that Page of Cups and that Ace of Cups. They're choosing strength. They're choosing to quench their fears. Okay, group number one, that is your reading. Is this person coming forward? Will they reach out? I feel they are going to reach out. They are taming some of the fears inside of them right now. But I do feel that they are going to reach out. Um, if this resonated with you, please leave me a comment in the comment section, subscribe to the channel and hit the notification so you don't miss out on an opportunity to join me in the future. But otherwise, I just really hope that you come back for another day at the Tarot Cottage. Bye, you guys. Have a great day. Hello, everyone in pile number two. Sorry about the wobble. <laughs> you guys were drawn to the beautiful brown-eyed Susie or maybe to the bee spirit here or to the blue deck, but either way, welcome. Um, we're asking the question today, what's going on with your person? What's happening for them in this connection? And will they reach out to you? That's the question we're asking specifically today. The bee spirit, it's about collaboration. It says sweet results await. Um, there's something very magical to me about the bee or the honey bee. They're just, there's something sweet and just, there's just something sweet and kind about this little creature. And I know they have a stinger, but they don't like to use it because it kind of is, you know, they're undoing if they show that aggression, if they, if they give the ultimate sacrifice. And it is about self-sacrifice with this spirit. So sweet results await, but we will see what the rest of your cards say. What, whoops. What is going on with your person right now for them in this connection? How do they feel right now about you? And then we're going to ask, are they going to reach out to you? This no contact situation you guys find yourselves in. What's going on with them in this connection? How are they currently feeling about this connection? The Hermit Virgo Energy. Queen of Cups. <clears throat> the Queen of Swords. Interesting. To clarify that Hermit card, we have the Nine of Swords. The Nine of Wands. <laughs> the five of pentacles and the five of cups. So what is happening with this person? I feel like they really do want to communicate with you. And the reason I say that off the start is because of this eight of wands that's staring at me. They have a desire to communicate with you. Um, the back of the deck energy though, if we start there, which is if you have been here before, you know, I kind of like to do, um, it's just an overhaul of, of their state of mind right now when it comes to this connection. And we have the five of cups. So they're in deep remorse mode right now when it comes to you. Um, there's a lot of lack of confidence here in this pile. I can see, I can see them really focusing on what happened in the past between the two of you or the inaction in the past, perhaps. Uh, but we just see them focusing on that five of cups, what's been lost, what's been spilt. And if they just turn around, they'd see those two perfectly good cups sitting in the background, but they don't feel like they can right now. They're stuck in that feeling of grief. If we go over here to the Hermit and the Nine of Swords, I can see that they're feeling kind of lonely um, in this connection. It's like a, a search 
inside of themselves, I feel. It's like this nine of swords, they're losing sleep. It's anxiety producing. It could be depression setting in for this person. There's just a real loneliness and depression setting in for them. And the truth is, is that they do have a depth of connection with you or depth of love towards you with this beautiful queen of cups. But they're trying to hold on to logic and they're trying to um, look at the situation with truth and fairness with the queen of swords and truthfully they really feel a lack within themselves it could be a financial situation maybe they lack money maybe they just lack the ability emotionally right now to offer you what they feel you need um, but they have passion for you that has been long awaited um, a long awaited passion that has not had anywhere to go you know you can see the look here on Sophia's face that kind of like almost a look of disgust. It's like, I've held these wands for so long. They're my wands. They're even sprouting. They're starting to sprout leaves. It's been so long of holding on to these wands for you, but I don't feel like I have enough to offer. And it plummets me into these feelings of lack and anxiety because I have so much passion for you. I have so much love for you. Um, but I'm feeling really low within myself. So let's ask the question, what makes this person feel so insecure? Why are they feeling so insecure or sad? The Nine of Pentacles. Oh my goodness. Ugh. Hold on, guys. The Page of Pentacles. King of Cups. And the Five of Pentacles again. <laughs> so... <clears throat> What is making them feel so insecure? I really just feel like, I don't feel like they feel like they have enough um, physically to offer you right now. Uh, that really plays on their mind. I feel like they put you on a pedestal with that nine of pentacles and they see themselves as the page. So they see you as secure in your life. You have everything going for you. Maybe you're secure in your career and you know, you portray this really confident person and they see themselves as this page of pentacles you know they don't have a lot they have just a little bit to offer what they want to offer you is all that love they want to be the king to your queen or vice versa but they don't feel like they have enough to offer you and it really plummets them <laughs> into sadness with the five of pentacles and emotional poverty but that five of pentacles coming up twice could really mean that there's some sort of financial aspect here holding this person from coming towards you let's get another deck are they going to reach out? That is the question of the day. Are they going to reach out to you? What is their plan of action? Are they going to quench those fears inside and reach out? We have the three of cups. Are they going to reach out, spirit? We have uh, the world here. Are they going to reach out to you? We have the five of wands and we have the king of cups. Okay. I'm just getting a few extra cards here for some clarity from this little spread. I like getting as much information as possible. Okay. So will they reach out to you? Uh, this person has a lot of love for you. A lot of um, the King of Cups here is represented. The King of Cups is represented here. There's a lot of love that this person feels for you. But I do feel like they're going to spend some more time in contemplation and kind of retreat it away from this connection because it could have been maybe a friendship situation. Maybe there's a third party kind of in the way right now, keeping them where they are. They do desire closure and the world card is about movement. So I'm not going to say for sure that you won't hear from this person at all, um, but they do see obstacles in the way. And one of those obstacles could be some sort of competition. Um, they don't feel like they have enough to offer you. Uh, and we have the Four of Swords and the Three of Swords. The Three of Swords is about sadness, disappointment. Um, I don't feel like they're going to reach out to you in the timely fashion that you want them to, but they do desire closure. So this is current energy when we look at tarot. They could feel differently tomorrow even. But today in this current energy, they're seeing all those obstacles. They're really letting it play upon their nerve. Soulmate, yes, this is your soulmate. But it's like a codependent. Addictions are affecting your romantic life. So it's 
you know, it, it thrusts them into anxiety and depression because they feel, I, I feel like they spend a lot of time looking out the window, just wondering what you're doing. I feel like you're their addiction. Passion they want to express to you. Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. They have so much love that they want to convert to passion. <laughs> It says worth waiting for divine timings at work in your love life right now. And I did say, I don't see them coming swiftly. They desire it. They want that closure, but they're focusing on the obstacles and spirit is telling you that this is worth the wait. If you're willing to wait, we have past life relationship on the back of the deck. We have the soulmate card. So you may have spent many lifetimes with this person or, you know, that could just be a representation of your life in the past with this person in this lifetime. The butterfly relationship is evolving to the next phase, healing the inner child. We also have the phoenix. So there is some evolution here happening. It may not be happening as quickly as you would like. Um, this person is sitting on their laurels a little bit, allowing themselves to be plummeted into this feeling of, of lack. Um, but we have paradise, happiness, joy, expansion, enjoying each other. There, there is great possibility here. There's good bones in this connection. Seduction, attraction, flirting, dating, hinting, hooking up, temptations. And there was a lot of, of wands here. This person could be a fire sign, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. They don't have to be, but. You have bison, abundance, sacred buffalo. Cloak me in your wisdom. Keep me warm through the storms of life. Fill my life with goodness. Teach me the way of gratitude and prayer. And when I see the word gratitude, I always think about manifestation. I'm always thinking about um, keeping ourselves in a high vibration so that when so that when people do come forward with gifts and offerings, that we are in a high vibration to accept them if we choose to. Work through your fears. Seems to be the, um, don't let pride get in your way. Seems to be the theme of all of this fear holding people back in life lately. Hold your vision, manifest what you want. You have powerful manifestation um, powers within you. What does this person want to say to you above everything else? If they could speak their truth. I made a big mistake, <laughs> huge even. I made a big, huge mistake. But I do worry that this is all in my head. I'm going to move these up here so you guys can see them clearer. I worry that this, this connection is in my head. And they are, they spend a lot of time in worry here with the nine of swords, with the five of pentacles, with the five of cups. I don't want anyone to get hurt. And I feel like they don't want themselves to get hurt. <laughs> I dream about the life that we almost had together. And I am trying to become a better person in general. I want you to know that I miss you every single day, regardless of how things are looking on the outside of my situation. I'm heartbroken. We had that three of swords because I miss your laugh and I miss being with you and spending time with you. I ache for your touch. I just thought, I know I hurt you, but it didn't fall out. It will never be over. Even though we never said it, we both knew the depth of this connection. Please reach out to me. <laughs> If you don't feel like they have the capability or they're too fearful to come forward, they're saying, you know what, please reach out to me. I can't do it. I don't have the courage. I'm in love and no one knows. Missing you comes in waves and tonight I am drowning. On the back of the deck we have, I daydream about you. But they're also, you're infiltrating their night time as well, I feel. Oops. Ooh, lots of letters today. We have the Ten of Cups. 
and the tower. Oh my goodness. So somebody watching perhaps um, is embroiled in a family situation. Maybe this person is in a family situation. Is there a third party situation happening for some of you out there? Take what resonates, leave what doesn't. But that tower card shows a lot of fear of chaos if this person comes and reaches out. Fear of breaking down something that's being built up. Do you have T, E, and N or Z, I guess? We have the police charms. I don't know if there's a police officer amongst us. We have the starfish spirit and the seahorse spirit and the fishtail. So a lot of water energy really floating around. There's a lot of emotion wrapped up in this um, connection. That seahorse energy is truly about going with the flow in life and not letting yourself get caught up in the reeds, the metaphorical reeds of life, getting confused, letting, letting things stop you, letting fear stop you, letting go and letting, letting the natural plan evolve is, is what spirit wants you to do here. We have the um, Pisces energy represented here by the fishtail. It says, learn from yesterday, live for today and hope for tomorrow. That's about being in the present moment. You know, we spend too much time lamenting the past. We have spent too much time worrying about the future, but staying in the present moment, being grateful for little things in this present moment. It is, it's about the journey. You know, you don't look back. It's not about getting to the end. It's about the journey. That's how you learn everything. You're always in my heart. We have the baby feet too. So children could be a factor here in this connection. We have the, um, the guitar here. And we do have Sagittarius, the passionate Sagittarius represented in the bowl as well. Um, that starfish spirit is really, you know, I keep saying this because it comes up almost in every charm bowl I pull, but it's about healing that yourself from within, healing those fears, healing that self-doubt, um, healing the inner child, having hope and faith in the future and not giving up. Okay, group number two, that is your reading. Um, will this person reach out to you? What is going on with them? Um, I, they're kind of thrust into a sad place today and I don't see them reaching out um, in the near future because they are fearful of causing a lot of chaos in your life, causing a lot of chaos in something that you maybe are building up or you feel secure in um, and they don't want to do that right at this t point in time. But I feel like they could be a Sagittarius. There's a lot of love they feel towards you. They're just feeling a lot of dislove, if that's a word, for themselves. Okay, if this resonated with you, please leave me a comment in the comment section. Please subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on any of the videos I post. Um, but mostly, I just hope you join me on another visit at the Tarot Cottage, and I hope you have a great day. Bye, guys. Hello, group three. You were drawn to the beaver spirit or this little red flower, and this is your reading. Um, will this person reach out to you? How are they feeling currently about this this connection. Why is there no contact? We have the beaver spirit here. It says lay a solid foundation. Um, so this could be a sign that your person is working on themselves, spending this time in disconnect, really throwing themselves into work. It's like a steadfast energy um, and they can navigate the water and the, the ground very easily. So they could be someone who is in touch with their emotions, who is aware of their spiritual side, or that could be your energy, but we will see what your tarot has to say. We're going to take a look at the current energy of this connection. How are they feeling about this connection? Um, what's going on? <laughs> what's happening? Why is there no contact? What is going on with your person? And then we're going to ask the all time question. Are they going to reach out to me? Two of wands. What's going on with your person in this connection? How do they feel? The empress. The five of swords. Clarifying that two of wands, we have the ace of swords. How are they feeling currently in this connection? The wheel of fortune. Right underneath that empress, the five of swords, clarifying that five of swords. How are they feeling? The knight of cups. On the back of the deck, we have the king of swords. Okay. So how is this person currently feeling in this connection? What's going on with them? We have the knight of, or the king of swords on the back of the deck. So that's my overhaul energy card. You know, what is going on with this person? The king of swords is a logical leader. Um, they do not wear their emotions on their sleeves. They're very stoic. They get the job done. They're about truth. 
Um, I feel like this person is gaining a lot of clarity during this time apart. And I do feel like they're the type of person to really work on themselves or to throw themselves into a leadership role, into a working role. They do desire to explore this connection and they do want to come forward with that knight of cups that two of wands fire energy leo aries sagittarius they don't have to be a leo aries sagittarius but i like to mention it for the people who you know like to see themselves represented in the cards we have the empress and the five of swords so they want expansion uh, maybe there are children involved in this connection that empress is a mothering type of energy she's very um abundant and nurturing and voluptuous and you can see her cup you know she's got this little She's about protection. She's about comfort and home. Um, and we have that five of swords. The five of swords is really like a no win situation. Like they're stuck between a rock and a hard place. They want to move forward, but they're stuck between a, that rock and that hard place. And we'll get some clarity on where that hard place they feel is. Let's see. What is the obstacle? Ace of swords. What is the obstacle spirit? The moon, secrecy, fear. What is the obstacle? Queen of Pentacles. Yeah, so their obstacle towards you is just the fact that they feel like there's competition. They're hiding those feelings. Um, they just hold you on a really high pedestal. They think you're really abundant. They think you have everything going for you. And they may feel like maybe you they don't have enough to offer you. So they're keeping those feelings really... They're scared. <laughs> they're scared to come forward. Um, it's like they're waiting for a drastic turn of events with that wheel of fortune. <clears throat> They feel like this could be a destined union. You know, there's fate and free, sort of the fate and destiny at attached to that card. Um, and they really want to see movement. And sometimes that Wheel of Fortune can be an indicator of a sudden change coming in. It's not the type of sudden change that the tower brings in. It's like the sudden change of, it's like a destined change. It's written into your chart. It's it's meant for for movement. And then we have the Knight of Cups. So I think that that's a very good sign that this person despite the fact that they are kind of feeling insecure, despite the fact that they're letting fear and these hidden feelings hold them back, they are gaining a lot of clarity about this connection. We have the Ace of Swords twice, which shows that they do desire truth. They do desire to come forward and reveal themselves to you. So that's our next question. Our next question is, are they going to reach out to you? hanged man are they going to reach out oops that's going to be in the reverse i can tell we have the two or the four of cups reversed what are, are they going to reach out the queen of coins more queen of pentacles energy and we have the eight actually let me shuffle one more time we had the eight of pentacles on the back of the deck there five of pentacles and we have the death card coming out Okay, so are they going to reach out to you? We have the hanged man energy. Um, hanged man is about surrender. You know, it's about giving in to the universe and into what is fated. It's also about hanging yourself up there. <laughs> And, you know, you have the freedom to kind of unwrap your tail, let yourself down, make a move, you know, quench, you know, push through those fears that um, exist for you in this connection it's about sacrificing the sense of self-sacrifice and then we have this four of cups reversed and you know when i see the four of cups reversed it's like i want a new it's like a new outlook i want a new beginning it's this new outlook i i want to stop lamenting the past because that four of cups is all about lamentation it's all about feeling stagnant and looking into the past and feeling hopeless but in the reverse it's actually a really positive card it's about you know i'm finally ready for a change i'm ready to come forward and get myself down off of this branch <laughs> i'm ready to help fate along here it still plays on their mind that they don't have a lot and you have a lot i feel that like they don't feel like they have a lot to offer you have a lot to offer they don't feel like they do um but they know that in order for this, this connection to move into a new place, there needs to be a transformation. You can see this death card. A lot of people are scared of the death card. You can see her. She's even fearful 
the fear on her face is palpable. You can see that she's fearful going into that new beginning, but there's the star waiting for her at the end, which means there's faith, hope, having faith and hope in the situation can bring about beauty, can bring about love. She feels like she's losing things. She's losing petals off of her flowers in the process, but it's about transformation. You know, you can, sometimes you have to pluck a few blooms in order to get more blooms to grow. And that's what this is about. It's about transformation. So I feel like your person will push through some of that fear and reach out to you. Um, they do see a discrepancy in your value versus their own value. But we all sort of do that in life, don't we? We place other people on pedestals and we really look at ourselves like we're nothing. Um, Spirit is here to remind you also that you are a beautiful, loving, creative force of God. You are part of that light. Um, all the other labels that are placed upon us or we put upon us and we hang ourselves up off those labels, they don't actually exist at the base of all things. We have the Eight of Wands sitting at the back of your deck, which shows that fast communication coming in swiftly, news coming in swiftly. So I feel like you guys might hear from this person when you least suspect it. Oops, almost lost it. Separation. You guys have been separated. Playfulness. To recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit to shine. Maybe there was a lot of flirtation that happened at the beginning of this connection and it should have moved to a, a more romantic place. Deception. Someone is wearing a false mask. And, you know, whenever truth, is, whenever feelings are not being revealed, that is a deceptive mask. You know, when you're, you're kind of holding back and having no contact, that's a deceptive mask because you're not revealing the truth to someone. Keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type or expectations. We have honeymoon on the back of the deck. Enjoy some holiday time together. I feel like they would love to travel with you. You know, the Wheel of Fortune and that, that um, Knight of Cups. They love travel. They love movement. You know, maybe this person's very kind of adventurous, but we see the moon sitting in the background of that card. So we know they're hiding those feelings for you. They're letting fear kind of lead the way so far in this connection. Emotions are running really high right now on both sides because they know, oops, sorry about the wobble. They know that action is required and it's kind of you are good enough if you don't feel like you're good enough just like i was just saying you and your loved ones are safe and we have the answers you need are coming there will be a conversation there will be um a reconnect even if it just clears the air it's it's worth it <laughs> even if it's just clarity that comes in with it White stag protector. You are an old soul. Your best friend is nature. Use your intuition to take you where you want to go. Awaken to the powerful force within you. You are meant to create blessings with your magic. Heartbroken, deeply hurt, sad, separation, breakup, feeling lost. I feel like this is how your person felt as they're working on themselves. They're trying to throw themselves into work. They're trying to be logical. That Cupid's arrow, have faith, love is coming, surprise. And I did say on the back of that deck, we had that eight of wands. Sorry, it's upside down. But we had that eight of wands, which shows sudden changes coming in, sudden communication. We have the snake, competition, enemy, clever, malicious as the other woman is there a third party situation here addiction codependent obsession possession controlling has a block restraint i feel like this person is working on themselves maybe they had some things that needed to be addressed during this time apart but i also feel like in a lot of ways you are their addiction their obsession kind of extends to you. We're going to ask the question, you know, what are some of the what are some of the messages that they want to get across to you if they had no filter? You take my breath away. That queen of pentacles 
came up a couple of times for you really shows you sitting on that beautiful secure pedestal um in their opinion or in, in how they view you their perception of you is that you have it all going for you that you have everything figured out i am watching from the outside watching your social media and i know that social media can be deceiving but to this person you just look like you have everything you're perfect you send mixed signals that sometimes, you know, and that's, it's interesting because we had the playful card there and it's all about flirtation, kind of cat and mouse not being realistic or not being, not allowing the relationship to evolve. I dream about the life that we almost made together and I am sick of no contact. I didn't realize I loved you until it was too late and I feel like I've made my bed and now I have to lie in it for a while. I still feel jealous is on the back of the deck. I'm in love and no one knows. I'm tired of waiting around. <laughs> I'm tired of waiting for this connection. And we, you know, we were talking about addictions here and we have any obsession is dangerous. You are my obsession. So they do feel like you, they, they focus on you above everything else. I'm afraid you don't miss me. And we have two here, actually three. So I guess I'm going to pull them. I know you've moved on. No one knows. I still think about you. <laughs> And you should have been my only choice. So is there a third party situation here? And on the back of the deck we have, will you wait? Will you wait for me? Get some charms for you. Down here to the bottom, get one. I can't see it. Oh, the Silk Queen of Swords. Okay, we have the Queen of Swords. We have the Five of Pentacles, and that showed up in your reading, as did the Queen of Swords. So they're trying to be logical. They want truth, but they feel a real lack within themselves. There could be a financial aspect here, too. Maybe they don't feel financially prepared to start something with you or to offer you what they feel like you deserve. So they're trying to be logical, but they do want to clear the air. <coughs> Excuse me. We have this charm, kind of like the poison charm, and we keep having those obsession type of cards coming out. Any obsession is dangerous, those addictions. Um, it's like you're bleeding into areas of the life that they didn't expect you to bleed into. We have Sagittarius represented the empress is represented here many many times with a flat shell for me we have z or n so there could be children involved in this connection and the reason i feel that way is because we do also have the baby feet here so children could be a factor in this connection um we have the the mermaid, which is like a sign for a siren for me, like you're calling out from the darkness. Um, they can feel your energy. They can feel you calling them with your energy. It's like the siren that's pulling them towards you. Um, but they're holding those feelings secret. That curled shell makes me think of the high priestess and holding those feelings inside, sinking them to the depths where no one can see. Um, as I said, we have Sagittarius represented in the bowl. We have this little charm that says made with love. We have a lion here, taming that inner fear inside of you. Leo energy really represented. We have a nickel. So the fifth of the month or May could be significant. 2006 is the date. And there's also beaver on this nickel. And you started with the beaver spirit. So throwing themselves into work um, truly could be what your person is doing. Okay, group number three, that is your reading. What's going on with this person in this connection? No contact situation. And will they reach out? I feel like they're going to reach out. Um, it may not happen as swiftly as you would want, but I do feel like they're working on 
an offer. They're working on their nerve to come forward. Um, and I just, I feel like they're putting in a lot of work into their finances or into the stability of their everyday life, just so that they have a solid foundation to offer you when they do get here. Okay, group number three, that is your reading. Please subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell if you feel called to like this video if you enjoyed it. It really helps my channel to grow. But either way, I just really hope you join me on another day at the Tarot Cottage. And I hope that you guys have an amazing day. Bye, guys.